Not only should they be responsible, they have to be responsible. Mm -hmm. I got into this business because there was an absence of media directed toward people of color that presented us in a positive way. And this goes back to a history of slavery, to uh, Jim Crow, uh, to segregation. And the current period, let's call it the affirmative action period. Historically, there were no black people in any responsible place in the movie industry, in television, in journalism that could affect a decision so that the newspapers and the magazines would show positive views of black life and experience as opposed to constantly portraying us in comedic form a stereotypical form or just pure negative form. We were always in the news when we were basically criminals in some, some destructive act. In somewhere around 1953, I got out of university, I got along at Long Island University, and I was a journalism major. And after I got out of the army, I came back, there were no jobs. Uh, in journalism for black people. Yes, there were black newspapers, but they did not really have the mass coverage that was necessary to change perceptions. And I spent the next 10 years working for black newspapers and black magazines, and I really covered almost every major client that advertised, and they were all in Ebony. It is basically one of the founding principles. There is an opportunity and an obligation that I can only speak for black advertising agencies to present black people in a positive and in an, in an illuminating manner. I mean, you know, as an African American, as a black female, as a mother, you know, I'm very concerned with the images that we put out in the marketplace. Um, just because I know they have an effect not only on the consumers from our culture that see them, but they also have an effect on the greater culture as well. And they help shape a lot of the beliefs and opinions that they have about our culture, in addition to trying to sell product.